it's Allison from CrushingOnClothes.com and I'm here doing a DIY today. I'm gonna to be making my own clutch. I'm really excited just because I haven't ever made anything before. I've obviously, you know, colored my jeans and done some dye stuff and kind of experimented with that, but I've never actually made something. So this is gonna be a really fun project, but also an experiment for me. So here are the things that you will need. Obviously your material that you're gonna make the clutch from. Um, mine is just from Joanne Fabrics. So it was about $5 for the piece that I got. It's just kind of this white faux leather, um, a yardstick, embarrassingly enough. I couldn't find a ruler, but this will obviously do just to measure out how um, big I want my clutch, so it'll measure it exact. Um, paint brushes, just because I'm going to be painting my clutch. If you want to leave your clutch just white or um, if your store has other colors that you want, you can do that as well. So paint brushes and then paint. I got a purple and a mint green. Um, they're from the Martha Stewart collection. And some tape just to mark the sections that I want the paint to be. Scissors to obviously cut a pen to mark the dimensions of my clutch, a zipper, and then a, some kind of crappier scissors to cut the zipper because I don't want to ruin my good ones. So if you guys want to see how to make this clutch, go ahead, keep watching. Okay, so I've laid my faux leather fabric onto the ground. Um, as you can see, I really don't have a table that's this big, so it's just on my kitchen floor. And I've taken my yardstick and I've measured my clutch. It's gonna be 17 inches high by 16 inches wide. And as you can see, like I already kind of just drew an outline, I just measured, so now I'm just gonna cut it out really quick. Okay, so now that I've got my fabric all cut out, I've got my zipper and I have a, what is this, a 18 inch zipper. So because my clutch at the top is gonna be 17 inches, I'm just allowing kind of about a half an inch on either side just for seam allowance and it fits perfectly. So I'm super glad I didn't have to cut my zipper or anything. So next, you're just gonna face your zipper down, upside down on the correct side of the clutch. So this is, the you know quote unquote outside material but it's upside down and you just want to start pinning it okay so here is the clutch now that it's um the zipper is on it so it's upside down and this is the right side of the fabric so here's one side and then i did it on the bottom for the other side so once it is together um and it's basically like this the whole thing is inside out and then when it's flipped open you'll see that it'll be the right way so now I'm just gonna sew the zipper on and then do the sides and I'll be back okay so here's the clutch um, it's still obviously inside out, but you can see that the sides have been sewn and it is, you know, I guess technically usable. I did a half inch about inseam um, from the sides. And then um, I also sewed this part down so that way when it um, is flipped inside out, it'll just lay a lot better and just look a lot cleaner. I'm just going to do the corners just to give it a little bit more structure so i'm gonna um, measure from two inches by two inches it should be about three across and you want these your corners to be the same or else your clutch is going to come out lopsided so i'll be back once i do my corners okay so here's the clutch post sewing um so the zipper on top is you know, a, I, I don't know, I guess a little wonky, but um, you know, this was our first time making a clutch. I say we, cause my mother helped. And I think it turned out pretty good. So we also um, did the corners just to give it a little bit of a cleaner um, look. And it just, it sits better. And I just think it is so cute. So here's what it looks like. It's really um, not very tall, but really long and skinny. So. I'm gonna start painting and I will show you guys uh, the finished product when it's all done.
Okay, so I'm back with the finished product and this is my clutch. I absolutely love it. So you can see it probably looks a lot different. Um, it's painted. So um, yeah, this is basically what it looks like. It's about 17 inches um, long and about seven or eight inches high. And you can see with the corners kind of folded, it just looks just a lot more, um, Sorry, some noise. A lot more clean and just professional. I absolutely love it. You can see the inside. I mean, uh, I'll take my keys out, but it's just, it's pretty big. It can hold a lot. And I am so proud of it. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's my first clutch and I think it's just so cute. So if you guys um, give this tutorial a try, let me know if it's helpful. If you guys want to see more photos, go to crushingonclothes.com and you can see more outfit pictures with the clutch. And I will see you guys in my next DIY tutorial.